Magazine.com, everybody. I'm Ben, and today we're going to be talking about magazine pouches, specifically the high speed gear polymer tacos versus the G code soft shell scorpions. So, what is a taco and a scorpion? For those of you that don't know, the polymer tacos are an all polymer construction, they come in a variety of colors. Uh, they use a bungee retention system, simply tighten down the bungee to tighten up the retention or loosen it. The same goes for the Scorpion soft shell pouches. These are made out of a hybrid polymer and then also a rubber construction. So they're not all polymer, they're about half polymer. They got some stitching in them, but they use the same bungee retention as you saw on the polymer tacos. What's great about these pouches and their bungee retention system is that they can be sized, configured any way you want. Throughout the last 45 days, as we ran the scorpions and the tacos, we did all sorts of crazy stuff to see if we could get them to fall out or if a certain magazine wouldn't fit, and everything ran awesome. We ran, of course, AR-15 mags, all sorts. We got some Lancers here, some P mags. We did steel mags. Uh, we ran Glock magazines, CZ Scorpion subgun magazines in the pistol pouches. Um, like you see over here, we also use the pistol pouches for some utility stuff. I got a flashlight stuffed in this pistol pouch right here. This is a polymer taco, and I just have this flashlight stuffed right in there. This is on an HSGI um, mini map, which is another product from HSGI. But as you can see, these pouches are really versatile. These are as close as you probably can get to a universal magazine pouch. It's really just a one-time buy for a plethora of firearms. There's a ton of value packed in to each one of these um, options. Some pros and cons. I think the soft shell scorpions from G-Code will probably break down a little sooner than the all polymer tacos. The all polymer construction, there's no stitching or anything to really wear out on these. The bungee is the only thing that could possibly wear out and that's easily replaced. Because these soft shells are stitched, you can burn them up a little bit easier than an all polymer design. With that being said, they're probably both gonna last you a lifetime. You probably won't put enough work into these magazine pouches to really break them down. We got pretty, pretty muddy wearing these things, rolling around trying to get magazines to fall out, and we simply just took a hose, sprayed them down, and voila, they were brand spanking new magazine pouches. You can do all sorts of mounting options with these pouches. The polymer tacos here, they come with a type of malice clip. So you can use them on molly gear, but these malice clips, these clips they have in the back here, you can also configure them for a 1.75 inch belt. These soft shells have eight different options when you go to check out with them as far as mounting hardware. I have their belt option here on the back. Uh, and these work really good if you're putting them on a belt. They don't work really good if you're putting them on a chest rig, but again, you can swap out the hardware so you can run Molly type hardware on the back of these soft shells and it wouldn't be a problem. But on here, I have them set up for a belt. They don't slide, they don't go anywhere. They clamp down onto the belt and then they lock underneath. So just a really good option if you're going to run a belt dedicated magazine pouch. These pouches also have the ability to be stacked. And what I mean by that is you can take a rifle pouch and take a pistol pouch and stack them on one another. They can integrate into essentially one unit. This saves room on your belt. I don't particularly like doing this because you start to get bulky and then hang up on stuff as you're running by it. Uh, but it does save room on your belt or your plate carrier and you can stack them. Same goes for the polymer tacos. You can stack these as well. Do double rifle, do rifle pistol, however you want to roll, you can do that with these pouches. So these magazine pouches are very modular, which is great. All right, for a lot of you, the choice between the two is gonna come down to price point. Which one's gonna save me more money? And unfortunately, you can't do that because they're priced about the same. For, for example, a rifle pouch is gonna be around 30 bucks. They are priced very competitively. And I think that's great because you're gonna get a ton of value and use out of these. They can run all sorts of magazines. They're gonna last a lifetime. So it's really that one-stop shop for gear. Uh, you can switch it around. If you don't want to run it on your belt all the time, you can obviously move pouches to a chest rig or plate carrier. 
They don't have to be isolated or stuck on one piece of gear, or you don't have to go buy other parts and pieces to make it work. They can be swapped and moved around, which is great. That gives you a ton of value out of one pouch. All right guys, so there's team HSGI and there's team G-Code. Let me know down in the comments what kind of magazine pouch you prefer. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Guys, my name's Ben. We'll see you on the next video.